Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another 22 men in a ball video today we are predicting the Euros is happening in like less than two weeks now so yeah it's getting very close England are going to win it aren't they? Well let's find out so we're going to start with Group A is, is it, they've got some strong groups in this I really do uh, I will go through my dark horses but we'll get to that when we're there Group A let's just start off let's just grow Go and drag uh, Germany into this bracket. I mean, they're going to win the group. I actually think Germany can do really well. Uh, is the home tournament. So, yeah, I think they're going to go through. In second place, it's very difficult between all three of these. You've got Scotland, who could do well. You've got Hungary, who could do well. You've got Switzerland, who could do well. <laughs> That's very simple to say. I genuinely have no idea how to order these three. I am, however... I'm going to put Hungary in second. Oh, we don't want that coming up. Hungary in second. There we go. I do think they're going to have the best tournament uh, out of the three. Uh, Switzerland, they always do well. We always write them off. We always put them fourth in the group and they always end up going through second. So I'm going to put them in third. I am going to, unfortunately, put Scotland in fourth. I just don't think they've got what it takes, personally. But that's what we're going to do. Who cares about this space? No one does. Next group, Group B, another team I think are going to do quite well this tournament. Spain, at the top of the group. We're going to put in second. It's a difficult one, right? Because Italy, they've lost a decent chunk of that squad that they had that won the Euros last time. And we always see with Italy, they'll do really well. And then for a few tournaments, they'll really drop off. However, I think I'm going to put them in second. It's a tough group, that. Really tough group. I'm going to put Croatia in third, I think. A lot of the Croatia players who we know that have done really well over the years, they're getting, they're getting on a bit. It doesn't mean that they're not as good. Modric is brilliant. Don't get me wrong. Perisic, not quite the standard you expect uh, of him not recently. I think he's had a few injury issues at Spurs, to be fair. He just got released, so who knows. But yeah, I'm going to put Croatia in third. And Albania into third place. I mean, fourth place, sorry. Group C, the mighty England. We're winning the group. Yeah, nothing else is going to be said about that. I think I think we win the group by. Uh, I think we, we don't find it easy. I, I do think we only score a couple of goals against each team in this group. I think we beat them more like two one. I think we beat Serbia like two 0 and Slovenia like two 0 I don't think it's massive, uh, but I do think we find it relatively easy. I don't think we need to put out our strongest squad in the group stage, which could help us. Uh, the rest of the teams, I think the most obvious one to go with is Denmark, and I'm probably going to go that way. But Denmark in second place in the group. They're probably the better team out of the last three. Don't think there's a lot more to be said. Serbia and Slovenia. Oh, I'm a, I quite like the idea of Slovenia doing well. They've got some great players. They've got like Oblak. They've got uh, Sesko. They've got some decent players. Oh, I think they've got some decent midfield as well. Probably forget, like, is Campbell from there? Maybe. I don't know. But I probably Serbia were my team that I backed in the World Cup to, to surprise a few. Get to like, the quarterfinals and they, they stunk it up. I'm not sure where to go. I'm probably going to put them in third. Yeah, I'm going to put them in third. I'm going to put Slovenia in fourth. Okay. Just hopefully go down. I don't know how cool I'm going to do this. I haven't used this laptop in a lot. Today, we're looking at 15 signs you're a boomer. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. So on to group D. France win it. You can't say anything but France win. I'm then going to go... Do I, do I go with what my shock was? Yes, yeah, screw it. Second place, I'm not giving Netherlands. I'm giving Austria. I'm giving Austria. Now, I believe Austria, I could be completely wrong here, but they are on an amazing run under Ralph Rangnick. And I think they're going to do relatively well. And they're not going to pull up it. They're going to win it. You never know, actually, it's in Germany. It would be pretty funny. We're not going to get into that. We're going to put Netherlands into third. But yeah, Austria, I do believe that this will be a very competitive group. You've got Poland as well. France beat them, what, 3 at the World Cup or something. I remember Matty Cash got run ragged by Mbappe. Um, so, yeah, I think France, Austria, Netherlands, Poland. I think that's relatively fair. Polish players, at the, like, I'm pretty sure most of them are like, on and off with injury. So... Yeah, yeah, I think France win the group. Spoiler alert, I think France do pretty well this tournament. Shock. Yeah. Alright, Group E. 
Another one that's difficult, right? See, I'm, I'm going to put Belgium to win it. The next three teams are all pretty tight. I'm pretty sure Romania have done all right recently. Ukraine, are, I mean, Ukraine are going to go in second on my thing. I could put them top, you know. I'm really tempted to put them top. But between these two, they've both got decent players that are flowing around the team. They are both teams that I don't expect to do very well this tournament. So it doesn't really matter which way I put it around. But for my own satisfaction, I'm going to put Romania third. I'm going to put Slovakia fourth. So that's whack them in there. Group F, a good group, an entertaining group at that. Portugal, who I think could do pretty well. And I wouldn't be surprised if, from what I say, Portugal will do. I don't I'm be surprised if they're going to do better. Uh, I am going to put Georgia in fourth. They have some good players. They've got McTords there. They've got Kovac Skela. Um, they've got Mamadash Philly in goal, I think. Um, they've got some good players. But they don't do that well. They're quite lucky to have got here in general. I don't think they're going to pull up any trees. I would love them to. They seem like quite a fun nation. Uh, they're probably what they're probably one of the worst nations in the tournament in terms of like how much success they have and how often they get to the tournaments. I don't. I can't. I could be wrong. With this. I don't remember them ever getting to a tournament before. They probably have back in the day. But of recent years, I don't think I've ever seen them in a tournament. So. Yeah, and then I, I think between Turkey and Czech, I think they'll both end up going through, aren't they? like the third best third place, etc. But I think Turkey will probably finish second, and then Czech will put them in third place. Czech always cause teams issues in tournaments. Uh, so best third place teams. Now you can't just go off who's the best teams all the time. I'm going to put Netherlands through, saying that. Uh, but you've got to look at the groups. You've got to look at the groups. Switzerland, they're in a group they can get through. Croatia. They might have a more of a challenge than someone like a, a Czech Republic or something, yeah? So you've got to look at the teams. So Netherlands, I think they'll finish around the same point as Austria in second, so I think they'll be all right to get through. I think Switzerland will be fine. I think Croatia will be okay. Serbia, I think the, the ones that are struggling are Romania, Serbia and Czech, really. So we're going to put the ones through what I've said. So we're going to put those two through. Serbia, Romania, Czech. It, again, it doesn't really matter. They're not really going to get very far. I'm probably more inclined to say Czech Republic out of all three. So we're going to put Czech Republic through as the fourth, third place team. Let's move on to the knockout stage. So here we go with the knockouts. Now it's all put together based on who's finished third, who's finished third, second, who's finished first. They're already set up in this way. So the, this will be like, it'll be first or third or whatever it's set up on here. So a start off with Spain, Netherlands, a good fixture. One that could go either way. I'm more inclined to say Spain, though. I think Spain have a really good spot squad. They've got a great midfield. They've got Lam in your mouth. It will probably be a right wing or uh, Nico Williams. They've got a good team. I mean, they haven't, I don't even think they're taking Pau Torres, which is an absolute war crime. That's, that's abysmal. But enough of my feel of bias. I just think he's been brilliant. I think he's one of Spain's uh, best left footed defenders. I think he's... You know, probably on par with Laporte, but Al Laporte playing if a bit, and Al Nasser, and not in the Prem. So we'll whack Spain into the quarter final. Germany, Denmark. It's pretty simple for me. I'm going to put Germany. I'm a huge Musiala fan, so that's all you need to say, need to say really. Um, but yeah, then we go down. we got Portugal, Croatia. I'm going to put Portugal through. I think Portugal can do quite well in this tournament. Austria, Ukraine. Um... I'm going to put Austria through. I think Austria will have a good tournament. Although Ukraine are doing really well. And I wouldn't be shocked. They have some great players. They've got Dovbik, Sagankov. They both played together. Uh, it was Zinchenko. You know, they've got uh, Matvienko. They've got some really good players. Um, but I've just got to back Austria. I've said they're going to be my dark horses to go, to go relatively far. Uh, Quarterfinals probably be the limit. I'll spoil that now. But yeah, I think Austria. And... Don't back Austria, by the way. Probably back. I'd probably put a bet on them to go out in the groups because my luck. I've gone. For, I can't remember my team. I know I put Turkey in Euro twenty twenty one, and in the World Cup in twenty twenty two, I put Serbia. I can't remember the one before that was, but I've had some horrid luck. So don't. I me. Mean, I think in the in the uh, Afghan. I think I said Algeria. I think as well. I think they went out in the groups or something. So yeah, don't back me at all. But I'm, I think Austria will do quite well. Uh, Belgium and Switzerland, I'm going to put Belgium through. I'm sorry, these are a bit boring and the Euros they tend to be. You don't tend to get, unless you get a Wales in 26, 20, 2016? 2016, I think it was. But yeah, unless you get that, it's pretty straightforward normally. Uh, Denmark got those. Oh, you know what, I'll take it back. Denmark did it as well. But we're going to put France through against Turkey. 
Uh, I don't think that's going to be too difficult. I think they're probably water out four now. England to beat Czech. We've had it. Yeah, I think our last game against Czech. Uh, I think we, I'm pretty sure we lost it. I think we lost like two one or something. But yeah, that wasn't a great day. In all fairness, Hungary Italy again. We're gonna go with Italy. The obvious. Hungary could upset them there though. I wouldn't be shocked. And then if you remember rightly against Hungary, I'm pretty sure we lost two games in the Nations League against them. So um, I'd rather play Italy and have that rematch. If I'm perfectly honest with you, there's less chance for a. An, uh, I don't know. Oh well, we'll leave up for last. So I'll come back to that one. Spain versus Germany. I said Spain will do well. I just think their squad's a bit too young to beat a German side here, who have some unbelievable players off the back of unbelievable seasons like Florian Verts. Spain will have Granado though. Talking about Verts, so you never know. You never know. But I'm going to put Germany through. We should put them into the semi-final, and in the semi-final they will face one of Portugal or Austria. And I believe that Portugal will go through. If Austria go through and they win the whole thing, I wish I'd put a bet on it. Yeah, I don't know how much I've back them, but they're not going to win the whole thing. I hope. I hope now I've said this. Belgium, France. Now, another one who, in previous years, you probably would have said, oh, it's going to be a close game. For me, it's not going to be a close game. France are going through. Belgium's defence is completely different. It's completely different now. Uh, and I just believe that France. Just have too much. Mbappe, Kolo, Moani, Dembele. Is that fair? <laughs> it's not fair. Uh, Griezmann, I forgot about him. Giroud, you know. It's, uh, it's stupid. Right. England versus Italy. Replay of the Euro 2020 slash 2021 uh, final. We're going to do it. We're going to back the boys. England are going to the semi-finals. Right. England is in the semis. Okay. Germany versus Portugal in the first semi final of the two. Who do I believe is going to win this? It's difficult because Portugal has so many good players, man. They have so many good players. They've got a great goalkeeper selection. They've got Saar, Costa. Can't remember who the other one is. Um, oh, Patricio. They've got, they've got Goncalo, Ramos, Ronaldo, Felix. Silva, Ruben Neves, João Neves. It's, it's unbelievable, it really is. But then you look at Germany's team in a home tournament. When they get to the semi final, their fans will be expectant of them to at least reach the final. And that's what I think they're going to do. We're going to put Germany to get to the final. And then it's going to be France versus England. I can't see us doing it. I can't see it. I'd love us to do it. I just don't think we're as good as France. Yeah, I think we've got good players. I think the players are still relatively new to each other. The, the like Southgate has brought through a lot, and that's all something we're all praising him for, and what we all want, and what sometimes we actually say he doesn't do enough of. When he puts people like Henderson and Harry Maguire, how are these there? I don't know. Um, but I will say France get through. I don't think that's too, uh, you know. Bad to say we're losing to the best team in the world. So, I mean, you know, I mean, you could say it's Argentina, but it's France, risk, isn't it? Um, and then in the final, in Germany, it's Germany versus France. It's going to be a repeat of 2016, I think, when it was France. I was fair, that last two, when you think about it, France in the home tournament lost in the final, yeah, to Portugal. That is right. I'm open. I'm really open. Uh, in 2020, even though it wasn't a home tournament, it pretty much was. We played most of our games at Wembley. It was a Wembley semi-final, Wembley final. We lost to Italy. And I think it's going to happen again. I think France are going to beat Germany in their own backyard. And that's just how I see it. And I don't care about this UEFA. Please get off my screen. No, don't do that. Um, but yeah, I think France are going to win the whole thing. I hope you have enjoyed. Please leave a like if you have. Subscribe if you are new. Let me know who you think is going to win in, down below. Let me know how you think England's going to win, do. Let me know your dark horses. I said mine's Austria. Um, so yeah, hope you have enjoyed. Leave a like if you have. Subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you guys next time. But until then, have a good time. Bye bye.